Yeah. I'm completely and utterly brainless right now. Oh yes, you're our new friend, Bear. Sorry about that. Completely forgot. Sure aren't sure it happens to the best of us. Well, that's the second time now, Fred Bears, we've gone round in a big circle. I must admit, sir, it does seem a bit weird. We've either missed something, or I just lost the plot while I was designing all of this. You know what I mean, sir? Fred Bear, I'm starting to really wonder about us. Uh, me too, sir, me too. thing is, sir, I think we may actually be lost. How do you mean lost, Fred Bear? We can't be lost, surely? No, sir, I think we are actually lost. Ah, oh, no, no more, sir. It just proves that we didn't look. Oh, Fred Bear, you blind old teddy. Well, you know that's actually true anyway, sir. It's a bit early on. I didn't lose both my eyes. And one of them did get, uh, shall we say, destroyed somewhere. Old Almighty Fred Bay's killed a dinosaur. So that's how he went extinct. He did it all. You know what, sir? It just makes a lot of sense, don't you think about it? You know what, Fred Bay really makes more sense than anything else I've seen all day. Good God, Fred Bay, look at it. Go on, you stupid bloody dinosaur. Do some damage. Oh, never mind, it's dead again. You know what, Fred Bear, sometimes I really do wonder. Why do we even bother? What do you mean, sir? Well, look at it all. We've got all of this. We've got cavemen, dinosaurs, even lava. And we still haven't managed to stop it. The only thing that managed to slowly hinder him was the fact that we couldn't remember which way to go. Oh dear, hey Fred Bear. I oh, know, sir, it is terrible. And also I do believe, sir, yet again, we have seen to have missed out a fair chunk of bits. Fred Bear doesn't surprise me the least. You no, know, just listening to you two sometimes really does make my day. Just listening to you just complain about your day in general. The fact of that you think you've missed something when obviously we haven't. Well, do you actually know we've been going the exact right way the entire time never said a thing? Yeah. Why would you do something like that? It's funny to listen to you two bickering. That's why. Oh, well, bugger you then. We're not going to bicker anymore, are we, Fred Bear? Well, that's right, sir. I'll keep my cob shut as long as I can. Alright, then. I'll... We all know that's a lie, but I will try, I promise. Alright, we also know that's lie as well. Fred Bader, a compulsive liar sometimes, you know that, don't you? I am sorry, sir. It's not my fault. I blame me ma'am. What's your mother ever done wrong? Easy. She raised me and then uh, she gave me to you. Oh, bugger. No, this reminds me of Fred Bear. What Takeshi's Castle thing, sir? That's on Challenge TV. Yes, exactly. Huh. Well, what happened there, then, Fred Bear? What do you mean, sir? 
Well, I jumped up, and all of a sudden, it just jumped with me. Well, he was strange, wasn't he, sir? I must admit, eh? Oh, well, I'm sure I'll figure it out one day. I always do. See, this is why I absolutely love these things sometimes. The pure evil maniacal. I'll so admit, sir, they are rather evil and maniacal, ain't they? Look, sir, don't wait. Good God, sir, these things must have been run for years. Fred Bear, of course, they've been run for years. They're pretty much as old as me. Again, sir, if you've been around for as long as the old weeks, then this prehistoricness must mean that you're bloody old, sir. Look, sir, baby dinos. Can you not say dinos, Fred Bear? Sort of dinos. Or whatever it is, how you pronounce it? Apparently not, sir. Luck. Oh, dear me, sir. He's buggered. Oh, never mind, sir. He's smart away out Don't you wait when it happens, sir, when somebody finds a way out of an elaborate trap that you took probably an hour or so to design? Are you telling me Fred Bear took you an hour to design all of this? Pretty much so, yeah. Well, you did a terrible job of it, Fred Bear. You should be shamed. I know, so I am sorry sometimes. Well, at least the poison mushrooms you place in Fred Bear doing their job. Well, it is true, sir. They do seem to work rather well, don't they? The only problem is with the pollen is if we bring them in, we also get seriously injured. So what you're telling me it's Fred Bears, this is the non-friendly poison that we ordered. Well, sir, this is a version of a poison that we ordered. The only problem is it's not trial friendly. Or human friendly, for that matter. In fact, it's not even friendly. It's toxic. Good God, Fred Bear! Spike death traps! Poisonous gas! It's a complete ludicrousness! I love it! <laughs> 